Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. Well, I'm here to try the products from the box swap. So if you haven't seen my late, uh, video th this that I put on my channel this Monday, it's an unboxing video where I unbox the box that I got from my friend Valerie here. We do this box swap every year and she opened my box. I will put the information and link down below and also link to the video where I opened the box from her. Because I'm not going to show all of the products that I, sh I got from her in this video. I just choose a couple of them to try out because I can't use all of them. There are so many beautiful products here. So I chose a couple of them and I'm going to use the others in other videos. I removed my makeup uh, with this Joa Heal Me, can't pronounce the other word, this cleanser that I got from Valerie. It's a really, really good cleanser. It removed a lot of my makeup, uh, but don't use it on the eyes. I wouldn't recommend to use it on the eyes, but it's a really, really good cleanser. I love it, love it. My skin feels, feels clean and feels fresh. Uh, yeah, so let's go in, in, in everything. Let's just start. I forgot to moisturize my skin, so I am going to use the face cream that I got from Valerie last time in a last box swap, and it's anti-wrinkle eye cream that I like. I started using it now because I finished using the other eye, eye, eye creams that I had, and it's a really good eye cream. So I feel like my eyes are really, really dry, so I'm going to use it. That's from our last, not this box swap, but the box swap bef one um, earlier this year. We usually do this twice a year, uh, and I do I like applying this heavily because it's so dry under my eyes. I have really oily or combination skin, but my under eyes are always dry, always dry. The lid is always oily, but the under eyes are always dry. I don't know if it's only me, but. And I'm going to go in with this I Am Balanced from Creme uh, Face Mist just to fresh, to, I don't know, hydrate my skin a little bit. I got this one also last time we did a box walk. But, whew, so refreshing, smells good, really good setting sprays or face mists. Okay, so we are going to go in, go into the eyes. Uh, I'm, I am going to go in and use my Kaya Cosmetic Eyeshadow Base. Uh, I got the, I think Eyeshadow Base from Valerie, but I can't find it. Not this time, in one of our box, boxes, but I can't find it. It's a mess here in front of me, guys. And I can't find all of the products that I need. So that's why I didn't put all of the products that I got from Valerie here on the table in front of me because it's an ocean of stuff and I will definitely lose it. I'm going to set this with some powder because I usually do like to set my face or eye base with some powder. And I did got uh, seven different palettes. Sorry guys, I did get seven different palettes from Valerie and it's these um, essence. If you can see, it, there it is. I'm going to use this one and I'm going to use this one today. These two I'm going to use today. Uh, I feel for this kind of a um, little bit not too warm eyeshadow looks. This one, um, oh, it's oh my god, it's a storm outside. Terrible weather. And it's this purple. It's kind of also like a colder purple. I don't know if you can hear the rain. I hope not. But it's um, oh, I haven't opened. I'm going to go in with this shade here in this palette, top top palette. And this is a they, they have really nice mirror here too. And I'm going to blend this shade here. This will definitely work much better if I didn't set my base. I know that, but I always set my best base. So this one is really light, almost like my skin, but I like applying those kind of shades here because when I go with the deeper shades later, it will blend easily. It won't be as harsh here in front. 
Then I'm going to go in with this grayish color here, the matte one, and I think it has a name, Groove On. Yeah, it does have a name, I'm just, ooh. Let's move the excess and blend that one here. This one is pigmented too. It's blending, like I said, beautifully together with the first color. Oh, this is cute. Okay, let's go in with the same brush, but we are going to go in with this palette. And going to go in with this. It kind of reminds me, let me show you at the side here. This gray here, we're going to go in, kind of bluish gray. It kind of goes really nice with this color that we had up here. So I'm going to go in that color. I know Valerie filmed a couple of videos with these palettes. I'm going to link them down below so you can see her videos too. If I found them on her channel, but I think she did. Going back with that lighter gray here just to dip up a little bit. Oh, that's pigmented. Let's clean the brush. Go in with this one again that we had first. Just a little bit above here. And then go in the brush and go in with this shade here in the other palette and blend the edges a little bit. This one is pigmented. Mm -hmm. Blending nice, blending nice. I'm going to go into this deep uh, black grayish black color with a brush and I'm going to set it, use some spray and I'm going to go in with this setting spray that I used before. Just to wet it a little bit and I'll apply it here. Ooh, so nice. I'm going to clean this brush and I'm going to go in with the brush, but go into this purple here with the same brush, and I'm going to wet that too. Oh, they work so nice together. Oh, I love these. These are all working beautiful together, okay? Then I do, I'm going to clean the same brush again, and I do want to go into this light shade that it's called Energetic, this here, from the purple palette. Same brush again. Same technique, wet it. Oh, I love this transformation. Oh, this turned out beautiful. Oh, I won't mess with it anymore. So we are leaving it like it is right now. We are going to go back to the eye look when we go and do our under eyes. But so far, so good. I really like how everything turned so far. Okay, so let's go into the primer. I'm going to go and heal me. Blurring Cooling Primer from Joa Beauty that Valerie sent to me. I'm going to go in with this primer. It says, help stress skin, chill out, experience a cooling sensation as our balancing primer smooths your complexion and calms the appearance of redness with a hydrating blend of uh, Centilla Asiastica, I think it's called, and Aloe Vera. So let's use it. Ooh, it's, it doesn't have a scent, but it looks like a, like it has like a soft, green it's not really clear white it's has like a green tint to it I don't know if the camera picks it up but oh, it feels like a thick cream it feels really nice on the skin I don't know if it blurred I can't see anything right now but it feels really nice on the skin like a face cream 
I like that. I like that. Okay. Then we are going to go into the foundation. And for the foundation, I did get this Pixie and by Petra. Uh, this is the water-based tinted face gel. Evens out the skin tone. It gives complexion a flawless, no makeup look. Hydrates and provides all day wear. Contains antioxidant rich green tea. Moisturizing rose water. Soothing um, English chamomile and relaxing lavender fragrance free for all skin types i mean it says for all skin types could be a good thing it means it won't be too drying not too oily either so let's see and i got the color h o h2 o skin tint in color nude there you go And I'm going to use a brush first. And for the brush, I'm going to try to use a brush. I do have a sponge too. But this is the Kai Cosmetic F14. I do like this sponge. Uh, let's use it. Mm, to be uh, a nice color. Okay. I can't see myself in the mirror when I apply this, but I'm kind of interested to see how this is. Okay, we'll see if this is enough, if we need to build it up a little bit more. Oh, it feels really cooling and nice. I want to use the brush first because brush usually uh, makes these kind of products more what it's called more pigmented doesn't take away from the coverage it's definitely hydrating i don't know if it's the foundation or uh, now the primer feels cooling oh, look at that that feels really nice this is the one side and definitely has like a light medium coverage i like it the primer didn't feel cooling when I just applied it, but right now when it goes over with the foundation, then it feels cooling. I don't know if it's primer or if it's this foundation. Definitely nice. I do want to build it up a little bit more, so I'm going to go in with more product. Back on my hand, one pump. And then I'm going to go in with this brush and then build it up a little bit more. It goes on really nice, nice with this uh, brush, but I'm just going to go in with the sponge just for, just for fun because I like sponges a little bit more. Maybe remove some excess or something. I don't know. Definitely gives me more even skin tone. I like the primer, and I like it. The color is nice. It doesn't look like I have anything on my skin. It feels like it looks like my skin, but a little bit better. It doesn't look like I have anything on. I know how it looks on camera, but in real life, it doesn't look like I have anything, anything on. So nice. Okay. Like it so far. I haven't even seen this product before she sent it to me. Uh, I have kind of more options. I do have two different, uh, what it's called, two different Concealers. I love Job Beauty concealer. She sent one of the concealers from Job Beauty before and I knew, no, I love it. I, I was obsessed. But I do want to try this one. This is the Revolution Eye Brightening Illuminating Hydrating Concealer. And I heard so much good stuff about this. And I want to try this one today. We are going to try this Job Beauty like a bronzer, cream bronzer, because I got two shades. Okay, it gets just oily. Okay, now we go. Oh, I get a lot of lot of oil out. I don't know if you can see. I hope you won't get too oily on the eyes. Mm, a little bit oily. But I think this product needs to be mixed or shaked before I... Uh, I don't think I didn't shake it. <laughs> My fault. <laughs> it feels nice under the eyes though. 
yes, now it looks much, much better. Of course, needed to be shaken and used. Oh, definitely hydrating, guys. It's definitely like a light medium coverage of concealer and hydrating, which looks nice. I do like how it looks. I just want more. Nope, nope, there goes my sponge. I just want more coverage, so I'm going to apply more. Or a light medium coverage. Definitely hydrating, so that's nice. So far, so good. I'm going to go in with some powder. I'm going to use uh, Anastasia's powder just to set the under eyes so they don't start creasing. I'm going to go in with this Joa Beauty concealer. This is in a deeper shade. I got two shades, a light and a deeper. I think Valerie wants me to use this as a contour. Dark with warm undertone and it's called DY DW010 or 010. This is FC015 Fair with Cool Undertones. But let's go in with this one. A shake, I had a shake. Didn't you learn anything? Oh, this one has a scent to it. I like it. There it comes. Oh, it does has a, have a fresh scent. I, I will go in with this one too. Oh, no, I didn't. I won't go in with that. I just set everything with power. I'm crazy. Okay, let's uh, blend this. I removed all of my mirrors. I'm sorry, guys. <laughs> Look crazy. Not looking at you, but let's blend this. This concealer is pigmented. It's very easy to blend. It has a lot of coverage. I really like this concealer. Uh, I applied a little bit too much, so I look a little bit crazy, but it will look really nice when we finish the makeup look. But it is such a nice concealer. Let's go in with this lighter shade. What's wrong with me? I'm losing my sponge the whole day. I'm going to use the light, sh light shade on my T-zone. I love... Joa Beauty's Concealer. If you live in the US and you haven't tried this, what are you doing? Don't sleep on this. Oh, love Joa Beauty. I did set my other eyes, so we're not going to play anything there. It's very pigmented, guys. Very pigmented. My face looks so nice now and it feels really light. I really like this Joa Beauty as a cream contour too. I really like it. I won't go in that heavy like I did the first time, but we learned something. Okay, I am going to set everything. So I'm going to go in with this Anastasia powder again, set the whole face. Valerie, one of the Valerie's favorite products. I sent this to her last, not last, but I think a couple of boxes ago, and she really liked this product. And I was really curious to try it myself, so I bought it. I like the powder. Okay, so a couple of boxes ago, Valerie sent a couple of these to me. This is the Cover Gold Insta Cheekbones. I don't know if it is still possible to buy it but I do like using these and I think I used one I got like two or three these and I think I have only this one left and I do like to go in with this as a blush I think my face looks so damn good but 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 
Now she sent four different shades to me in with this bronzer. Uh, it's all four first shades, one, two, three, and four. Uh, I'm going to go in with shade three. Now when I look myself, I should probably go with a lighter shade, but no, we are not. Let's go in with three. Let's put more bronzer. Even if I look bronzed, let's put more bronzer in here on my face. I'm going to go in with um, this kind of brush. I know, brush, I know what it is for brush, but let's go in number three. And this is Sun uh, Private Island. I don't know if this is going to be too deep or too light, or but I have four shades to play with. I love, um, I love bronzers, and I love trying new bronzers. And I think this one was on my wish list, and I'm, and I'm so glad that I saw four different shades. She did an amazing job can go back and forward with different shades depending on my skin tone and also how deep I want to go with the bronzer. Oh, this is a really nice bronzer. I like it a lot. Such a good product. Okay, let's go back to the palette. First, I'm going to go in with a small brush and I'm going to go in actually with this palette and I'm going to go in shade... Uh, yeah, nice. Yeah, nice. I think it's called this shade here. This one. I'm going to blend that under my lower lash line. With same brush, we are going to go in with this lighter shade here. That's called. I can't. I just dropped the palette. <laughs> and it survived, which is nice. Uh, what's wrong with my hands today? I can't see. Um, I think it's called Feel So Good. And let's blend under. I'm going to go in with this small shade, small brush, and I'm going to go into this, uh, what's called the gray shade that it's called the Saturday Night. And I'm going to wet this shade. This shade's so beautiful under the lower lash line. Why did I do that? I had an idea. I had an idea to use one of the eyeliners. Oh, we can still do that. Oh, that's so nice. Okay, I got a lot of eyeliners and I thought I would use them, but probably not. Let's go in with this color, this um, CoverGirl Inhibitions Lash Liquid Liner matte and I'm so bad at doing liner so I'm going to be quiet with this one. Oh this is black. I have really hooded eyes so this is a struggle with me but this is a good good liner. I think this is uh, this is really good liner. Even if you have hooded eyes, this is very easy to work with. Now, I'm really bad at creating uh, liner, but this is so good, 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 good. I like it. I do want to top this with this glitter one. I'm going to top it uh, one side. Or do something. I don't know. I hope I won't mess it up because if this turned out great. Or maybe I should just use this one on the low lash line and not mess and not mess the liner that we just created because it turned out nice. I know. I don't know. I just want to try. I wanted to apply these on top of this black, but this black turned out so beautiful, I'm afraid. It's really light and nice, and if you can see it here. Okay, let's go with the deeper gray shade. I think, no gray, it's purple. The purple one because we mix these two. I wanted to mix these two, two together. I opened everything up and see, but not the liners because I wanted to show you what kind of liners I got. Let's go in with this purple one. No.
This turned out beautifully. I love this makeup look. I really love the makeup look. Let's go in with this top shade again palette. And I do want to go into this brighter shade, brightest shade that's called Sing Along. This almost white color. That's what we're going to go in with. And let's... Uh, okay, this one is not as bright as I thought. Okay, so this turned out nice. Nice. We're going to set everything, thing, before we move on. Uh, I, oh, I didn't do my eyebrows. How could I forget to do my eyebrows? I usually go in with this pen from Believe Beauty that she sent me last time, but I didn't, I can't find my sharpener. So... Oh, I do have uh, this one that she sent me from uh, Joa Beauty. This is Precision Brow Pencil, but this one is in uh, light shade. It's a little bit cool blonde. It's a little bit too light for me, but let's go with what we have right now, because I do want to use only the product that she sent to me. Okay, let's set everything. I'm going to go in with this I'm Silk Matte Primer that she sent to me last time. I, I do have some left of it. I don't know if you can see. I'm using this a lot. I'm going to curl my lashes and I'm going to use LH Cosmetics Eyelash Curler. It's one of the best eyelash curler out there. And... Uh, curl our lashes because we do have a mascara to try out and she did send to me the IT Cosmetics uh, superhero mascara I have used it before I think she, once she sent to me in our first box swap but I also bought it once myself and now I got it you like it so let's go with a superhero There you go. Okay, for the last thing that we have, we are going to go in and use a lip gloss. Now, I got three shades, and I did choose this one to go with. The other one is deep red, and then and the one is more, what's called, the, uh, like a orange color. So I think this one is going to be fine color to use. Hmm, maybe a little bit too pink for this makeup look, but Damn, oh, very pigmented. This is the Revolution Ling, uh, Lion King Disney Lion King lip gloss in color Love Story. I must use these colors actually. Not bad, not bad at all. Mm, I like the lip gloss, it's nice. Uh, maybe not the best color with this makeup look, but. And this is the final look, guys. I really. Uh, do you like my ears too? I really love how my makeup turned out. My face looks snatched, uh, it looks smooth. I really like the foundation. I like the mascara. I love the eyeshadow palettes, and I haven't tried all of them. Um, I, these that I used look really nice, were performing really nice. Uh, the sh this shade, oh, I didn't use uh, this shade though here, but the only shade that I actually didn't like as much or didn't actually work as much as I thought I would, I would like it is this light shade here. But all of the other shades work fine. Look at this makeup look, so beautiful. I'm def definitely going to recreate. The liner, liner on ice, I needed to warm them up a little bit, but uh, the liquid liner is perfect. So this is my uh, makeup look. I love it. I love the bronzer. I love everything that she sent to me. De this, definitely, I like the Jewel Beauty concealers. I think they're great. This is a nice concealer and I have to work with it a little bit more to try that a little bit more, but it worked nice. I mean, my eyes actually look pretty good. It had more coverage than I thought. 
Uh, this one is definitely full coverage. I mean, I got a really good coverage with this concealer. Uh, I love it. I love all of the product, guys. I love my makeup. I can't stop staring myself at, in the mirror. But guys, let me know down below what you think about this makeup look. Did you try any of these products? Please go over to Valerie and see what makeup look did she create with the product that I sent to her. If you haven't seen our unboxing videos, I will link everything down below. Also the playlist with all of our box swaps, even Valerie's playlist. I will put all the information down below, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like this video, subscribe if you already haven't. Don't forget to put that notification bell and I see you in my next video. I love you all. Bye.